Hello friends, I'm Naishik from blogtoot.com and welcome to the fourth episode of War After Creating a WordPress website. Now today in this video, I'll show you how to optimize and compress images on your WordPress website. There are many benefits of optimizing and compressing images on a website. First of all, it will boost the performance of the website. It will also reduce the page load time, which will ultimately improve the SEO score because page speed is a very important factor in SEO. It would also improve the user experience on your website. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you have already done that, click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you have any doubt, any questions, any queries whatsoever, you can leave them in the comment section below. Now let's get into it. All right, guys. So first of all, come to your dashboard, your WordPress dashboard. Now there are many different plugins that we can use to achieve this uh, image optimization and compression, but I'm going to use two plugins in this video. First of all, the first video is Smash, and the second video is EWW Image Optimizer. And there's a reason why I'm using these two plugins and I'll explain you this in this video, okay? So first of all, from the left hand side, you will see this option, plugins, hover that and click on add new. First, let me uh, install this Smash plugin because that is very easy to set up. There's not a lot of apps, uh, options available. Everything is preset. So you can simply select this plugin Smash Image Compression and Optimization. It has got more than a million active installs, which is great. So select this, install and activate this plugin. All right, guys, so once you do that, you will see an option which uh, looks something like this. So you can skip this thing because we have the same options available over here at the bottom. So what we can do is uh, there are three different options. There are actually only three options available over here because as I said to you earlier, everything is preset, which is awesome. You don't have to do a lot of settings over here. Everything is preset over here. So first option is automatic smash. Now, what are the different image formats that you want to automatically smash? So first of all, I'll explain you about this image formats in a moment. So whenever you upload an image on your WordPress website, what happens is, you know, there are many different versions of that particular image that are, that get created. For example, thumbnail, which is 150 by 150 pixels, medium 300 by 300, all these different versions that are created whenever you upload a single image on your website because you know uh, one image is small the same image is used in thumbnail the other image is used in somewhere else so that is where basically what happens now the second option is to delete the metadata so whenever you upload an image or click any image there are many different metadata that is that is available on the image that is not very useful for example the color uh, codes and the location and they there are many different things that are you know stored with the image so what we want to do is we want to delete those things now the last option is image resizing now suppose here you know there are many different images that you want to upload on your website and those are some really large images like 10,000 pixels into 10,000 pixels so that is a crazy large image so what you can do is you can set a maximum height and width for the image so what, whenever you upload a image and that is a big one so they will be you know you know converted or resized to this thing okay so that is basically it does okay so you can do all these three settings and click on update setting. Now that is only what we have to do. After that, it will say that you have 47 images that need smashing or compressing. So whenever I say smash, smashing, you should uh, you should know, know that I'm talking about compressing. Okay, so simply click on this bulk uh, image, uh, bulk smash images, and it will smash or compress all the images that are present on your website. Now, obviously this will take some time, you know, maybe a minute or two, or sometimes if the, if you have a lot of images on your website, it might take more like five to 10 minutes. So I'll pause or maybe I'll fast forward this section. Okay. Guys, so as you can see over here, all the images are successfully smashed or optimized. Now, now what you can do, you can go to GT metrics and you can enter the website name from here and you can see the page speed and all those things so i was getting this result before optimizing these images now let's do one thing let me open this in a new tab okay let me copy the same url over here let me retest this website 
So earlier the page speed was 89%, the vice low score was 77% and all those images. And if you see the recommendation, they were recommending me to optimize the images. So which we have done. So we should see some improvement in the performance of our website. Now if you see we are testing the same site, this is test.nayashik.com. Here also this is test.nayashik.com. Okay. Now if you see over here the performance is you know really improved. Now the page speed is 95% and that recommendation is gone. Okay. Now if you see uh where is that gone? What is this? This was optimized images. Now if you search for optimized images, let's search. Here it is. Now as you can see it is a 99% so which is good. So you know you can see the performance is really improved. Now there are few more benefits of using Smash. First of all the main benefit is that you can do that bulk uh, Smash. The second benefit is that you don't have many settings to do. It's just one or two settings and you're all done. And the third thing is whenever you upload the image it will automatically Smash the images not only a single image but all the versions that are created now let me show you this thing when you click on media over here and you open in any image for example let's open this one now if you see over here at the bottom it says smash and it says six images re reduced by 60 kb okay so you have uh, saved around 60 kb over here when you click on view stats you will see that there are six different versions of this same image and all those things are optimized okay so that is a great thing all right guys now the next plugin that i want to cover is e triple w image optimizer now that is also a great plugin that is that has a lot of options and it will further improve the performance of your website now you can use both the plugins at the same time or if you want you can use just one plugin okay that both the options are fine so simply hover plugins and click on add new now search for e triple w you'll see this option e triple w image optimizer install and activate that plugin once done you will see under settings you will have this option e triple w image optimizer now if you see over here optimization state uh, status is, is at 20 percent to for compression so it will improve your website by 20 percent uh, at the current settings but I'll show you how you can improve that resize is also 20 seconds now let me do one thing the first option is that we need to enter an API key once we do that we'll get 500 free images credit which means that we can optimize 500 images for free now most of the plugins that do this image optimization and compression are pro plugins even smash this e triple w short pixels there are many different plugins that do the work all are pro plugins and what we are using is a free version of that plugin now the first uh, thing was smash smash pro version is quite expensive but i think the free version does the work you cannot you know smash or compress the full size of the image but you know most of the things can be done using that plugin now the second plugin this one e triple w now both the free and the pro versions are amazing and the great thing about this is that the pro version doesn't cost much. For example if you go open a new tab and type in blogdo.com slash e triple w you'll see all those different plans and you can understand about it in more detail. Now alright guys so as you can see there are three different plans uh, and it will cost you around or just 0.03 dollars per image so that is a very nice uh, feature now as you can see over here if you want to smash 3000 images it will cost you only nine dollars so that is really great if you want to smash 100 images it will just cost you a dollar so i think that is really amazing very cheap service and they have great service over here so you can purchase the pro plan as well so you can simply click on that link which is given in the video description below or you can type in blogtoot.com slash e triple w it's all up to you now let's see all the settings first of all we need to enter the api key you'll see at the top uh, you have one notice allow e triple w image optimizer to track pl plugin usage and it will have your email address over here simply click on allow now once you do that it will send an api key to your website first of all let's dismiss all these other notices now let's go to gmail.com 
or whatever email service provider you're using now go to update and you will see this option free api credits awarded okay and you will have your api key over here simply copy this from here come and paste this thing over here and click on save changes all right guys now as you can see this has increased to 85 percent now let's improve these settings first of all we have entered the api key the second setting is debugging uh, so what if you enable this thing if there is some error well, with this plugin it will display over here so that is basically debugging we don't want to enable that that is not really important the second option is remove metadata i have explained you this earlier so metadata because there are few options there are few things that are already present on an image for example the exit the comments the color profiles the locations and so on so we would want to remove that because that is not really important now after that we have jpeg optimization level so you have to select this one lossy compression okay or you can select maximum lossy compression both are good for png also you have to select this one maximum lossy compression after that we have uh, gif optimization for this select lossless and for pdf because this will also optimize pdf so you can select lossy compression and click on save changes all right now as you can see this has gone to 100 percent which is great now after that we have exact dn this is basically cdn now this will also convert this wp webp conversion that is webp this as a file format so it will convert that it will do all this minification compression so basically it will do this cdn work for you okay so if you use this you don't have actually don't have to purchase a cdn i guess so you can enable this and obviously uh, to use this thing first you need to have this plan okay this specific plan monthly exact dn plan okay so if you but if you use this plan you will see really tremendous improvement in your website okay so it will you know do all this premium compression and all those things which is really great so if you want to use that you have to purchase this plan monthly exact dn plan but if you don't want to use that it's all right you know it is not like a, a big deal i think if you're creating a website like let me show you this one like flipkart or amazon when you open those websites they open really fast for example as you can see this website it has opened within a second and if you see that thousands of images only on the home page so in spite of having all these images still it's oh it opens so fast so that is basically of uh, because of features like these okay that will improve the performance of your website so if your website is using a lot of images you can go with this you can purchase this plan it will really help you otherwise you don't need this okay if your website is not using a lot of images you're all right with the basic settings okay then we have advanced settings so jpeg quality level so whenever the image is compressed what what quality level do you want so by default it is set to 82 percent and i don't recommend you to change this thing i think 82 is a, a good number so just leave this thing after that we have parallel optimization so i have explained you this earlier that whenever you upload an image wordpress will automatically create different versions of that particular image so whether you want to compress all those versions at the same time when the image is getting uploaded so yes so just tick mark this one okay after that we have schedule optimization so if you enable this thing every single hour it will search and scan your media file and see whether all the images are optimized if a image is optimized it will skip it if a image is not optimized it will optimize it but i don't recommend this thing you can leave this thing because we are already optimizing the images when we upload them okay so i don't think this is required so you can leave this thing so simply click on save changes because all the other settings are not very important so you can simply click on save changes then after that we have the resize option you can click on over here now there is a very important feature over here which says resize detection you can highlight this you can tick mark this now it will highlight all the images that need to be resized and scale because what happens is sometimes you're using a very big image and you don't have to use that image okay the browser or your website will automatically show that image in a small size the size that it should be but you have uploaded a very big size which is not required now whatever image that you have like that on your website it will highlight those images 
If you don't understand that, don't worry, simply tick mark over here, click on save changes and let me explain you that. All right, now let's open our website in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. Now, if you see over here, your logo, it is highlighted. We see this awkward border besides this logo. And don't worry if you tick mark that highlight thing. It's not that everyone can see this. This highlight only the admin can see it. If a normal visitor visits your website, they won't be able to see this highlight. So basically what is happening is we want only this size. If you hover this, it says forced to wrong size, which is 150 into 50. And the natural size is 600 into 200. So if you open this image in a new tab, it will see, you will see that this is quite a big image and we don't want this much big image. We want just a small one. So, you know, you'll see this error over here, self scaled images. Okay. Whenever you want to improve the performance of your website, you have to serve the scale images. Don't serve images like this. And, and uh, after that, the browser or your website will have to scale them. Okay. So what we can do, we can fix this thing from our dashboard. It's really easy. You can simply click on media from here and you can search that image, which is highlighted. So for me, this logo is highlighted. Now, as you can see, the size is 600 into 200. Now you can click on this image at the bottom edit image and let's resize this. So we need 150 by 50, which is over here. So simply select this and click on scale. Now, as you can see, the image is reduced and we can simply cut this thing. Now let's go back to our website. Let's refresh it. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, that border is gone. That highlight is gone and we are not getting, getting that error anymore. Now we can come back to the website and let's again go to that setting. Let's again click on resize. And now I hope you have understood that after that we have resize media images. So if you have very large images, again, I'm explaining you this. I have explained you this earlier when we were talking about smash, but let me explain you this. Suppose you, if you are uploading an image, which is 10,000 pixels into 10,000 pixels. So you don't need to upload those big images because the most of the screen size are not that big to see the complete image. So it will be scaled. Okay. When that image is, you know, uh, viewed on your website, it will be scaled. So we don't want that. So what we want, we want to set some maximum height and maximum width, which uh, you can set something like thousand or 1200 pixels. So that image will be resized automatically to this size, which is, I guess, very important. Now, whether you want to resize ex existing images, yes, we want to do that and make sure you don't tick anything over here because this will disable optimization, which we don't want. Now simply click on save changes. All right. So after that, we have the convert option and this is not very important. Now in this option, basically you can convert your JPEG file to PNG, PNG, PNG to JPEG, GIF to PNG, all those conversions. So I don't recommend doing that. It is not really important. So you can leave this thing and these two options are also not very important. So you can leave these things. Okay. So with this, our image optimization and compression tutorial is complete. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. This, if you follow the same steps and especially if your website is having a lot of images, if you have an e-commerce website, photography website, you'll see a heck lot of improvement on your website. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you find it helpful. If so, then click on that subscribe button. Also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. If you have any doubt, any comments, any queries, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. Give a thumbs up to this video, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. I would really appreciate that. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.